Wow, wow. Hey guys, Yarek here, and yeah, today I'm gonna be working on one more piece of ember, which I did catch uh, one year or two years ago on the beach, straight from the sea debris. So yeah, it's quite exciting to work on the pieces I did catch myself. And yeah, <laughs> also, it's, it's this time of the year again, when it's really dark after like five o'clock in the evening when I finish my work, so yeah, still working outside, but hopefully soon I will be moving in into my workshop. So yeah, let's check this piece because it was quite exciting to think this one. On the first glance, this piece doesn't look like much. Looks really not interesting, yeah, but the clue is in this white side. There is white layer of December inside. And this one is the transparent part, so what happens? when we will polish it up, what do you think? All the white inside gonna be visible. I can already see all sorts of patterns made by the white thing inside. So I think it's gonna be quite interesting. But yeah, this side is very problematic. If we want to make it a nice shape, at least we have to even this out and we can't remove the layer which is sticking out what I usually do, because <laughs> between the layers is the white thing, so yeah. Let's begin, let's make it wet once more, and I think I will start from these ugly sides. Let's try to even them out. Then the fun part, we'll remove the crusty side of the nice side. Yep, there is still a hole, but I think I will keep the, the hole. Or well, maybe not, we will see later. For now, this will do it. And let's do a time lapse on this side. Okay, so we have removed the crust from the side. And now we see that one side is a lot thinner than the other side and we have two options what to do with this either we sacrifice the size and make one bigger but thinner piece with nice patterns inside or we sacrifice the patterns make the two pieces with the patterns but a lot smaller yeah so i think we will go with one bigger piece and now let's move, make even this other side so it's roughly the same fatness Now it's roughly the same uh, fatness and thanks to that we can uh, remove, we can smoothen the side a little bit more easily because right now we have this not nice edge and some oxidized amber from the sides. Yeah, so let's now smoothen it up and here yeah, we will go to the other side which is a candy. I think that's gonna be good enough because yeah, if we keep dremeling the middle which is oxidized and crumbling we will stay <laughs> without a piece and we don't wanna do that. Yes, let's move to the, this sexy side. There we go, almost removed almost all the scratches. We still have to pre-polish it with sandpaper but yeah, now we are done with 220 and 600 grits. You see, it's like microcosmos inside. 
already starting to look quite interesting. Let's make it wet and it will be even better. There we go. Neat. Yes, no idea what the thing is inside. Some sort of oxidation sand. Mixes of white amber. And white amber is basically shaken up amber. Like imagine egg yolk. When it was like not disturbed, like it was transparent, basically, yeah. But if you will shake the egg yolk, what happens? It starts to bubble up, like in white stuff. So it's very similar to what happened with raisin when it's disturbed. Now, when we have it smoothened to 60, uh, 600 grit from all the sides, it looks a lot better already. Uh, we can start pre-polishing it with the sandpaper. So yeah, let's begin, not waste any time. Yeah, I think we are done with 1,500 and now we repeat the process with 2,000 grit. And that was 2,500, so we are done with the pre-polishing and <laughs> oh my god. It it's perfect, absolutely insane. In the daylight it will look even better and we haven't even polished yet, but it will look roughly the same as now, <laughs> because it's wet now. The pre-polishing is done, now we have to polish the piece, but it's kind of late now, I think I will polish up this baby tomorrow, maybe morning. It's brighter today and yeah, let's finish this one up. This amber was a total surprise, the slipper piece, because at first sight it was just a bad quality piece of amber, until I have noticed the royal amber inside, and still I didn't expect it will turn out such an amazing piece. The flown lines of royal white amber under the trans transparent amber formed beautiful scenery, looks similar to the Milky Way galaxy, exceptional collector's piece with one of the most insane before and after transformations. And yeah, this is it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!